All right, so I'm at my uh, buddy Johnny's place up in South Porcupine, Ontario. And unlike most people, uh, he has an outdoor furnace, a wood-burning outdoor furnace, which is kind of unique on how it works, and Johnny's going to explain it to us right now. Johnny. So as you can see, this is the unit. It, uh, it's actually quite straightforward. This is the door to access the fire chamber. And she wants to come in and have a quick look. See, as you can see, we actually have some materials in there. So that's where the combustion happens. That's the combustion chamber. Inside the door, there's a fan that runs off of a thermostat. So it turns on when the fluid, the combustion chamber is only approximately like this. The rest of that volume is filled with fluid. So that's... Just oil. water or oil or... Uh, water uh, mixed with antifreeze. Uh, propylene glycol, I believe, because it's environmentally friendly. <laughs> so, uh, pretty simple, simple operation. Keep the fire going. Uh, we'll load about a wheelbarrow full of wood in there at a time, and uh, that'll last us the, a day. And that's our wonderful woodshed there. So that that volume of wood uh, will last us more than one winter, and you know it serves us pretty good. Um, but you were mentioning about the liquid, so is it kind of like essentially like a like a car engine where that or like a radiator type system? Almost, uh, there's no radiator. Actually, if you're able to see up inside, I can show you again. If you get down low, it's hard to see because it's all black. But those tubes, the fluid is inside those tubes as well, as well as all the way around the firebox. So that helps the uh, exchange of heat between the actual combustion and the fluid inside which is plumbed, you can't see the lines because they're underground, which is plumbed into the house. This is just the, well, for lack of a better word, the control panel, I guess you want to call it that. Um, this switch here simply controls the fan. So fa that'd be fan on if the unit was powered. Now that would be fan off, light on. So if the light's on, the fan's not working. So you can disengage hmm. the fan when you want to put wood in it. And these are your thermostats here. This controls your, your fan when it cycles. And this is a high limit switch. So if your fluid gets too hot, this is what will turn your fan off. Now, otherwise, it, okay. otherwise you'll just overheat your fluid and it'll boil, which you don't want to happen. We have had it happen and it just bubbles out the top. <laughs> <laughs> That's your bubbles that come out the oh, top? Oh yeah, like it, it literally, like you come, there's a spout here. That little guy here. That's what we use to fill it. Well, you can use it to fill it because it's not a pressurized boiler. So that's its vent to atmosphere. So if the fluid actually starts boiling or we overfill it, the excess will come out the top. That's why you get the staining on here. Now, you mentioned earlier that this, uh, that essentially the woodshed over there would cover more than one winter. How yeah, it, about a, well, a winter plus a bit. So how much does that cost in terms of wood? Uh, for us, that's uh, approximately two tier, um, which is a pretty substantial volume. But price-wise, it's about uh, anywhere from thirteen to fourteen hundred dollars in lengths. We have to cut it, split it ourselves, of course. But uh, in terms of the financial aspect of it uh, and sweat equity, uh, <laughs> it's a uh, it's a pretty inexpensive way of heating your home in this this area. You know, making use of the renewable resources up here can you, the, you there, there's one of your uh, neighbors around here that's on propane mm -hmm. and she was mentioning something that just one month's worth of use was something like seven hundred dollars i think it was uh depending on you know weather uh, yeah you know, like this past like january was terrible oh, yeah, yeah. they had a they did have their a couple months there where i think it was cold enough and they're going through approximately seven hundred dollars worth of uh, propane in a month and that was before propane started to get more expensive. So you can imagine now as the price of fuels go up, you know, the yeah, price of your heating follows suit, which is uh, not fun. <laughs> <laughs>